I wonder if the game is too loud actually. Uh, cannot tell unfortunately because when I alt tab the game goes quiet. I think I should make it a bit quieter, just a bit. Where is all the options? There are no audio options. Oh, there it is. Sound volume. Well, I guess this is as low as it gets without being completely muted. Well, okay then. Uh, so, yeah, I did say I was gonna stream this. Uh, so here I am streaming this. I don't think I'm gonna play it all in one stream I'm probably hello Hazmati probably I'm just gonna um, stream for a couple of hours play as many maps as I can in those couple hours and maybe if these are good enough I'll do another stream to play the rest of the maps but we'll see so this is Quake Brutalist Gem some kind of Quake community map pack made by a bunch of people that was released in autumn of 22 apparently and only recently i've learned about it so i'm gonna play it now i am fine thank you though i do need to go to the dentist probably which sucks but whatever work is fine work is fine okay anyway let's just uh, play i guess don't expect many people to show up to this, so uh, how do we do this game? QBJ There we go Actually, I might need to make the music just a bit quieter Well, it depends on how the work goes like something like six hours every day sometimes more sometimes less so here we are at the hub which already looks pretty cool and of course we can just pick our difficulty right here But of course, there is the extra hard difficulty because this is Quake. And it is like somewhere down here. Yeah, there it is. If you go through this gateway, it selects brutal skill level. Of course, I'm not gonna play like this, right? I'm gonna play on normal because I don't think I'm any better at Quake than I am at Serious Sam. Yeah, this is why I wanted to play it. I saw this and I instantly wanted to check it out. There's another very cool thing. If you drop all the way to the bottom... Like, it's like really fucking dark in here, but... You can just about barely make out a playground. There is a fucking playground at the bottom of this. This is so fucked up, I love it. So I guess it is implied that these are all like apartment buildings or something. Very cool. Uh, anyway, so I think all of these, yeah, all of these are entrances to different maps. So we have to like come up with some kind of uh, system here to check all these maps out. So we don't miss any. There's nothing else here, is there? No, I guess not. I guess let's just start going clockwise from the start and uh, moving from top to bottom. Because there's like some stuff up here. There are more maps if you go up here. Hey, intro it. All right. Nice of you to say hi. Oh, there's an elevator. Okay.
Okay, so anyway. Yeah, this is gonna be the first map. Peculiar Investigation by Hrnek Bezuka. Nice username. Thank you, Android. Good luck with your work. Okay. Somewhere in Yugoslavia. Alright. Welcome to the Anomaly Containment Facility. Oh, this shit goes way too fast. Inspector Vondrushka. That's our name, apparently. 1969, okay. My good friend. You have story in quick maps now? What the hell is this? Come have a glass in my office. Sure. Isn't uh, Hrot also like based in Yugoslavia or was it like Czech Republic or something? Is it out yet by the way, Hrot? I think it might be out. Though I'm not sure if I'm gonna play it. I still fucking haven't played Caltic, I haven't played Proteus. And I'm probably not gonna play fucking Hrot either. Just because like I don't have the desire anymore. Maybe I should up the brightness a little bit, because it's just pretty much pitch black for me in some places. Maybe I'll do that later. I understand you came to write about the anomalies. You know, Hazmati, it's been like multiple times already where I wanted to sit down and play it, but I can't just play it, right? I also need to stream it, because it, it would feel like a waste if I wasn't streaming it. And I just don't want to stream anymore, so I'm like, fuck it, I, I'm not going to play it, I'm not going to stream it. The pillars, you need the silver keycard, okay. The what? The gap, okay. The report is uh, already on the table, just sign it, please. Okay. Like I said, it feels like a waste if I'm not streaming it. It feels like a waste to play something like that just by myself. There it is, have a glass and have a safe trip back. Mmm, smooth. Thank you for coming. The entry lift is now open. The entry lift is now open. They didn't give me the keycard, right? No, they didn't. That's probably not gonna happen, to be honest. Unless I'm just gonna be doing, like, short streams or something. It's cool to waste an entire day in streaming when uh, you just barely do any work and have, like, a shit ton of free time. But when you don't, it just feels like such a giant fucking waste of time streaming. And I'd rather use this time for something else, to be honest. Okay, that that was all. <laughs> that was the map. <laughs> well, I mean, it did look really cool, but like... Wait, silver key! No, wait. There has to be more to it. Well, it did say, like, there's zero out of zero kills. Uh, like, zero out of zero secrets. Wait, there has to be more. 
There has to be more to this map. There has to be something else here. Why are those doors locked with a silver key? There has to be a silver key in the map then, right? Where would we find the silver key though? It's like completely pitch black for me here, I can't see shit. Maybe you like shouldn't drink the the whatever it is is in the cup, and then maybe you can do something else here. Is there really nowhere else to go? I guess there is nothing else here. Let me do just one one last one last try here, like without taking the, the coffee or whatever the fuck that was. Just one more try. I wish I actually knew how to bunny hop and quake. I kind of know the idea behind it, but I never managed to actually get any sort of speed by bunny hopping. Yeah, let's just take the report and not drink the thing. The entry lift is now open, he says. Okay, yeah, let's try the doors again. No. Yeah, sucks. That sucks. I just don't even know how to jump job hunt. All of my jobs were pretty much like, hey, do you want to work here? Yes. I never had to do any hunting in my entire life and I feel very lucky for that
Yeah, I guess there's nothing else. It's just like an art piece or something. Just some architecture and a little bit of story. It's kind of a shame. I would have loved to see the anomalies and like whatnot. Oh well. Let's see the next one. Four separate interviews. Like, what kind of company is this? Uh, what? What is this word? Scoured Revelations by Qualton. Okay. Oh, we actually get to shoot stuff in this one. That's nice. So what's this? Oh, shells, okay. <laughs> Just that little bit of color looks so out of place in this like grayscale environment. That did. Oh, hello. Oh, that's a timed switch, I guess. Okay, then. Is he only ever gonna use knights for enemies in this map? Hopefully not. So this is where we came from, I guess, yeah. This is also a repeatable button that supposedly does something. There is something up there. I guess there is another time to door around here. Yeah, it must be this door that gets opened. Alright then. Food distributor. Yeah, four interviews does seem kind of excessive. Well, this looks ominous. I mean, naturally, you're gonna see enemies from all kinds of games in Doom mods.
Wait, there's nothing under here. No, there is nothing. Well, that sucks. <laughs> There we go. I think I saw a button up there. Wait, what was that? Oh, that was also a button. Sneaky button. I didn't even see it was there. I wonder what it does. Maybe open some kind of secret or something. Okay. I guess this is the way forward. But what did that one button do? I should probably... Oh, okay. Start quick saving. Really? Well, that's good to know. And jump up here using the button. Careful, careful. I don't think there is anything of interest actually. What does the button do though? What the hell? Yeah, it has two secrets, this map. I might not be able to find them. But oh well, such is life, I guess. I guess shamblers are less dangerous than I remember them to be. This is normal, right? Skill 1. Is skill 1 easy or, or normal or what? I, I need to double check. Because if it reset to easy, then... That's kind of stupid. <laughs> if it's going to reset too easy every time I go back to hub. Hopefully, hopefully not. Uh, okay.
Let's see, does this hurt me? Of course it does. Why wouldn't it hurt me? These switches are timed as well. Yeah, they open these bars. I guess this must be the exit or something. Well, okay then. I guess I should just like take the damage or something. I didn't find shit, but at least I killed all the enemies. Okay, let's see. Skill 1, normal. Skill 1, easy. Skill 0, yeah, skill 1 is normal, okay. Next one, Kwon Krit, <laughs> okay by Strider, okay. Fancy shapes, holy shit. Look at all these polygons. trying to eat my face while I'm get, getting distracted by the architecture. Oh, I don't know, this doesn't feel too brutalist to me, but I'm not even sure what brutalist exactly means. <laughs> when I hear brutalist I just think about like endless rows of those like Soviet apartment buildings or something. Maybe I should have looked it up before streaming. Hello, Caffeine. Nice jumping. Thank you very much, game. Finally someone appreciates me for my jumping. So where do I actually go from here? I'm gonna guess I need to find like five buttons or something to open this door. And I suppose I am free to search for these buttons in any order that I desire. Okay then. Well, this is still closed though. This looks like button number one. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice map design. Like you press the button and you can see immediately what it does. 
so you know what to search for. I wonder if I was supposed to be able to jump up here like this. Oh, this just opens the way back, I guess. Okay. Ah, well, I guess I could have just gone this way. So I didn't sequence break or anything. I have this, might as well use it. I think the music is a bit too loud. Hello there. I think Vores have been slightly nerfed in this gameplay mod that comes together with this map. So that's nice. And the gold card. Well, this is gonna suck trying to remember where the fuck that door is. I don't think there's anything up there. Oh right, I remember I was here. This is locked though. Well, I guess I missed some way to go or something. Oh, this is also locked. Okay. So maybe we're just uh, searching for the key and when we open the door we're going to have more options. Maybe. Oh, I guess I just never went this way. Okay then. No, I, I have been the here. Why is there an surviving enemy oh, so we can open this ah there it is okay oh it's those shits fuck the worst enemy The door was somewhere this way, I think. I'm not gonna bother with that guy. Oh yeah. Here it is, yeah.
almost got dead in here, so I guess it was a good choice to play normal. I'm still missing one. This this one feels like it was supposed to be last for some reason. Am I also supposed to see something from this window? I'm not sure. What was that? Who, who aggroed on me? Hmm. Well, whatever. Oh, that guy, I guess. I think I can hit it. Yeah, and this is just the start of the level, right? Yeah. Got to find the last button though. I'm not sure where I'd look. Yeah, there is this place that is locked. How would I get to the place? Can I climb through the window? No, oh, there is the button. I don't think I can go through there. Ah. Oh, fuck me. There we go. Ah, oh, shit, shit, shit. I don't think I saved at any point, did I? Of course I didn't. That's fine. I wish I could say, hey, I memorized the map so I know where to go. 
It's gonna be easy peasy, I'm gonna do it quickly. No. <laughs> I haven't memorized shit. It's gonna take me even longer than in my first try. Oh wait, that armor, I, I think I want it, yes. Well, it's not really that confusing. It's fairly reasonable. It's just that I really suck at remembering where to go in games. Motherfucker. Man, that piece of shit can really jump far. Holy shit. There's one more there, right? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I never gone on that bridge. I think I should have gone on that bridge. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so how many buttons am I missing? Three. I think I missed that one again, the one that I missed before, like somewhere around this area. Yes.
Now, wasn't the door this way? Yes. That looks like a secret. Incredibly lame secret discoverer. <laughs> what? Yeah, that was the second secret. Oh, we found all secrets, yay! Very nice. God damn it. So there is gonna be a war here somewhere, right? Oh, there you are. This looks sus. This looks like it's gonna close. Then again, it doesn't matter if I have to drop down. Alright, the quake does this thing where your health just drops back down to 100. I forgot it does that. Okay, what is this? This is... Eight, okay. I don't know, why am I stu getting stuck on geometry so much? And it's not just the map, because I had similar problems in previous maps as well. Oh god, oh god. I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Tough as nails, hard as concrete. Time to leave. Jesus Christ. That was close. <laughs> okay, this is cool. Can I go back to the start of the map though? I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can. Oh well. Uh, 
Oh no, I missed one monster. We have to replay now. Well, that map was cool. I feel like it was too pretty. Like, it, it looked too nice. Like, too many, like, curves and decorations and stuff. Well, I mean, it, it looked good, yes. But, uh, once again, this is not something I would think of as brutalist. Soul Art Incorporated by Bomb. That's a good start, sure, just give me the ultimate weapon straight away. Does this have secrets? It has one secret, okay. Oh, these are actually working doors. Okay, okay. Thank you, Caffeine. See you. could probably just jump across, right? Yep. <laughs> ah, except it was completely pointless, because I could go there anyway. How is this not a secret here? Oh well. Ah, this doesn't actually open. Okay, okay. Alright. These guys are too preoccupied with whatever it is they're looking at. They didn't hear anything. Nice sculpture. So is this a button? I guess it is. One more to go. How do I get the squad damage? Maybe I should have like jumped on, on top of the enemies or something and I missed my opportunity to get it. What if I jump on top of the button from here? I don't think I can. Ooh, well. Guess I'll just have to be good at the game or something. So I don't need quad damage anymore. This doesn't open though. So where would I go from here? This doesn't open. Already press this. We need one more. Hmm. Oh, this is open now, of course. It makes sense. completed. What did that actually do though? Oh, open this door, okay. Is there something with the statue? If I shoot the statue? Okay, maybe not.
Okay, on this looks interesting. There has to be something hidden in the water, right? I bet the secret is just like some kind of sneaky dive in some dark corner. Oh well. This wall looks kind of sus, as if it can be opened. I guess this is also like a sculpture or something. Okay then. Kind of a weird place, like some kind of fucked up museum or something. Kind of interesting. What do we have here? I cannot see shit, I'm just shooting randomly. And it worked apparently, so that's nice. I think I should have gone the other way first, probably. Let's do that. If we don't get dead, at that is. The doors have opened. Which doors though? Some doors somewhere. 
Did I not leave any health behind? I guess I didn't. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh well. These doors, I guess. Oh, that was the end of the map. Okay. Haven't found the secret, but... Oh well. Yeah, these maps are reasonably short. I wonder if uh, there was some kind of time limit for mapping. Let, let's actually check. Let me actually check. It doesn't actually say here in the description. There's a list of maps, screenshots. Oh well. Not like it's super important, but... So, which one was that? It was this one, Soul Art Incorporated. And next one is Entombed in Concrete by Stick Flip. Okay. Need the silver key. All right. This is blocked off, okay. That makes choosing where to go easy. Well, this looks cool. Like the grass growing through the cracks. That's pretty cool looking. have the bridge back please thank you very much well zombies are gonna be annoying to deal with oh never mind I have rockets again and can't see shit here I think I should increase the brightness a little. Yeah, I think this is slightly better. And this has two secrets. That looks like a button. Let's not press it just yet. Well, I guess there is nothing else here, really. Okay. Oh, that's an elevator. All right.
I don't like the way this looks. Okay, it wasn't too bad. I just expected some kind of really shitty trap. But it wasn't anything like that, fortunately. Alright. Wait, is that it? No, that's not it. We're only halfway done, judging by the monster count. Yeah, we still don't have the key, right? Maybe just face rolling that wasn't the best idea. But hey, it works. We are mercifully teleported back to the door as well. So thanks for that. Uh, oh, it has auto saves. Very nice. I wish other maps did auto saves too. Because I never remember... Hello. Never remember to save myself. Door opens elsewhere. Okay. I just get deaded if I drop down there? Probably. Let's find out though. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's my quick load button? Is it F9? Yes. What did that do? Press this button and open this door. And then I press this button. And it did something else, apparently. This looks new. Yeah, this is the end of the map. I haven't found any secrets. Unfortunately. Oh well, you know what? I'm not really gonna bother. If I don't find it, then I don't find it. Who cares? Set in stone by Viedo.
seven secrets on this one. Well, maybe I'll be able to find at least some of them. Well, there's the, the golden key, but I'm guessing getting back up here is not going to be that simple. Card. I'm guessing this map was made by a less experienced mapper. Or so it feels like, at least. Okay, so which way do I want to go first? This has a ring and a shambler behind the door. I don't want to go to the shambler. I would like to have a better weapon. Let's just go here first, I guess. Holy shit, where did you bastards come from? Well, this certainly is gonna help. Uh, that's a secret. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck, I had no ammo for that. Are there heat scanners around? I guess there are. I got too distracted by Death Knight. That one little piece of shit was shooting me the entire time. this button opens later <laughs> okay if you say so Oh no, oh no, fuck off. Hmm. 
Great, now there's multiple of them. Motherfucker, I knew this was going to happen. is down. There's two more. One more. Think fuck there dude. Jesus Christ. Something opens upstairs. Okay. Oh, fuck me. Hello. Is it still following me? Of course it is. You have two silver key cards. Interesting. I guess this must be a source board thing. I didn't think you could have multiple key cards so that the game cared how many you have. Oh, that's the starting area here, actually. Okay. I guess I can just drop down. We get to pick which buttons we press, I suppose. Well, maybe I just need to... Yeah, I just need to find two more. Okay. Did I go this way? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's try the other door then. What the hell is this? Feels like there might be some secret over there or something. I kind of want to check. Where is that zombie? Oh, hello. Oh, I guess these are just decorations. Oh well. Why 
why is there an, an outline of that thing? Does it like respawn or something? Oh, I guess, I guess it does. Because you need to shoot the buttons. I see. And you really need to move your ass here, don't you? Okay, okay. There we go. I think we only get teleported because it's normal difficulty. We probably wouldn't get teleported if we were in hard. Oh well, I'll just take it. If the map designer gave this to me, I'm just gonna take it. This one, the last way to go. I don't have fucking nails for nail gun. I do have the invisibility thing, except it did fucking help. <laughs> okay. This is a stealth mission. A stealth mission in my quake. What the hell is this? Button operated. Apparently, if you touch them, it doesn't. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> okay. That's interesting. Ah, oh, dude, fuck off. Doors unlocked. I think I remember this from looking at the screenshots. Path to quad unlocked? That's very nice, except I have no fucking idea where it is. And it being unlocked doesn't really help. Are you gonna keep following me, you piece of shit? Oh, there is quad damage over there, I guess. Okay. That must be it. Oh, and now we can take quad damage and we can murder all the shamblers. That sounds nice. Let's do that. Do 
Did I get the key though? No, I didn't get the key. It has respawning ammo here, so maybe I shoot something, no? Maybe not. Wait, which ammo is this though? Is the oh that's nail gun ammo. Okay. What do I actually do here? Oh, there's the key, okay. have to kill him I guess or maybe not there we go getting stuck on the wall in some weirdest way helped this must be crying is okay for people we lost along the way. I wonder what that's all about. Crying is okay because we found only one secret out of seven. Oh well. Thermacon by Natalven Ah Natalveni, okay. That's a fancy friggin' statue. Probably a button. Looks fancy. Yep. Well, before we actually go anywhere, let's see. What's this? I wonder if these symbols actually mean anything. It kind of looks a bit similar to what was on the switch. Is there the same stuff on the other side? Yes. What about these doors? They don't actually tell me anything.
Are those quick two doors actually? These ones, they kind of look quick to wish, but maybe they aren't. I haven't really played Quake all that much, so I'm not very familiar with textures and stuff. This needs a, yes, a gold key. This needs the silver key. Do I have to swim? I wouldn't really like to swim all that much, but if I have to, I guess. I don't see shit underwater though. Um, is there any way to go here? Doesn't really look like it. We don't have the silver key for this. We don't have the gold key for that. So where do we actually go? Oh, there's that door over there, okay. This map is just kind of slightly weird in terms of style. So it just opened up with... Uh, oh, I guess I can't really go back, can I? With some kind of statue, like, uh, you know, ancient Greek looking statue. And now there's like some sci-fi stuff here. I could go there, but could I also go here? Oh, it also has two secrets, by the way, which we are totally gonna miss. Oh, fuck! Fuck off! Abomination. Alright, Quake, actually, I remember. Quake had secrets where you need to, like, hit stuff. And then it would open. Hello, Hitroski. I am doing fine, thank you very much. Quad damage, just like that in the open. Sus. Oh my god. Can you, can you actually jib them with shotgun, with quad damage? You probably can. Yeah. Well, that was amusing.
Yeah, this was the first door. This is the second door. And there is nothing here. This is a really sus place. Why is there just a pitch black room here? There has to be some kind of secret, right? But there isn't anything here, really. Hmm, strange. Okay, so do we actually have to take the terrible drop? There is no button to call an elevator or anything. Is that water? Or what? Like... I don't know. Let's find out. A secret area? That's a secret area. Wait. of it those pentagrams are like invulnerability right I think so Fuck, 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 fuck. Well, that's interesting. I don't think I've seen many of these types of fights in Quake before. for anything. Oh, I still have ammo for shotgun, I guess. Okay. Here we are. Us. Does this open? Of course not. Yeah, I, I know about it. I've played it, yeah. Didn't stream it though. It's a really cool thing. Hello. Oh God. How dare you go inside of my comfy cargo container? 
You are going to pay for this. That's the start of the level, I guess. Okay. Oh. And that's the end of the level. <laughs> Alright. Well, I mean, if I streamed it, I probably would have missed, like... I definitely would have missed pretty much everything. I feel like... Uh, it's better to experience that what by watching someone who already knows what's up with it. Because when I played it, I just got the burnt down house ending. And I didn't see the underwater world, I haven't seen the mirror world, I haven't seen the hospital, I haven't seen... Uh, the back rooms, I haven't seen the uh, that labyrinth type of place, uh, I just haven't seen shit when I played it by myself. That's what we just played, right? There is a certain slant of light by Radiator Yang. Well, this looks colorful. Dog goose. Hello, dog goose. Yeah, that's an interesting change from all the previous maps. Because those were all just grey <laughs> and dark, and this one is colorful and bright. I didn't spoil anything to myself, and I kind of wish that I did. <laughs> because like I said, I missed most of the map <laughs> by getting the bad ending. actually see anything that wanted a silver key. Is this a door? Shortcut opens later, sure. All of these are shortcuts. What kind of map this is that it needs so many shortcuts?
Okay, so this is where we're supposed to go, apparently. Well, I mean, it certainly does look like a door. Oh boy, this is not a happy looking place. Ah, oh, fuck, of course. I don't have anything to blow them up with. There's only one secret. We're probably not gonna find it there. The ring. Does it open if I pick up the ring? No, it doesn't open if I pick up the ring. What's up with that? I'm pretty sure that shortcut, quote unquote, just leads to the outside. Okay, what do we have here? There's multiple silver keys everywhere. Can I go there? I don't think I can. These bars open after what? After two? Two prayers. Huh, okay. I guess we could open this door right away, since we have another key. But before we do, let's just look around here. Sus! Well, I guess we could take that quad damage. And take care of all the zombies. Do I want to though? Oh fuck. No, 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 no. Fuck off. Fuck off, you piece of shit. Okay. Opens from the other side. Yeah, I kind of don't really like this area. Cuz and oh wait, that just goes back. Okay, never mind then. I guess I just cannot really do much here. I didn't want to take it. Oh, this is where I last saved. Fuck. Oh, I guess I pressed something and just closed the game by accident. Great. Please tell me I still have yeah, I still have my quick save and I guess the game capture well window capture is still working. Alright.
It's kind of funny how these doors open in some random directions, but every time very slowly. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, that must be a prayer. We did one prayer out of two, I'm guessing. Should I drop down? Probably not. Now I will have my revenge on all these zombies. Okay, now the bars are open, so that's nice. I wonder if this is like some kind of shortcut or something. Yeah, kinda is. Great. Shit, 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 shit. Have more nails, please. Thank you. Did it die? I think it did. This map is pretty hacking huge. Oh, we're back here. Okay, okay, okay. of keys that's unfortunate I'm sure we can find some around here That thing is actually called perforator. I thought I like my entire life I was sure it was called super nail gun. <laughs> but I guess it isn't. There's another quad damage here. Why do you give me all these quad damages? Oh, this looks fancy and important. Gold key awakened the awakened the horde.
shit, 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 shit. That really sucks. <laughs> Can I have more health, please? Secret. The only secret in this map, and we have found it. Very nice. That over there looks like a gold door. No what I'm just gonna fucking take it. Because otherwise it's gonna be one of those cases. Oh I'm gonna save it for later, for when I really need it. <laughs> wasn't the best use of quad damage but it was a use of quad damage as opposed to you know not using it at all okay I think this was the way that opened after we got the key ah fuck I got lucky it got stuck Now what though? We need to find a gold door. And I have absolutely no recollection where it might have been. Let's just go through the level normally, I suppose. This is where we entered, right? No, this isn't where we entered. This is where we entered. There should be some zombies around. Yes. this way we grab the key here then we went back we open that door 
Is there anything here? Yeah, the shortcut, of course. That was one of the prayers. There was another prayer over there. And then we opened the way here. How do I get anywhere though? Like, how do I get to that gold door? I'm not sure. Oh, would you look at that? The door is... That fighting with the wall? Shameful. Um, yeah, we need to go over there somehow. How do we go over there? Maybe we go this way. There's a dog. Hello, doggo. Yes, okay. There's like three monsters there. I guess that must be the end already. Well, I'm not sure how well this goes with Brutalist theme, but it's kind of nice. That's what we just played, right? Yeah. Fourth Vertex of Trapezoid by BMFBR. Okay. This is fucking cool. <laughs> and it looks like we'll actually be able to go over there. Wonder if there's something down there. Some kind of secret or something. Probably not. Probably it's just death. And probably you just die. <laughs> Okay. One more to go, they said. Oh, there it is. Well, that was fancy. Ok, 
Ooh, looks like I'm okay. Never mind. Tower two. Nice. Okay, but where do we actually go? Probably just down here. Sheesh. I ain't getting that backpack. Wow. Yeah, that wasn't very smart of him to go after a flying monster over a fucking bottomless abyss. Four secrets. What the shit? What hurt me? I'm not sure. What the fuck is this? They really don't appreciate the sounds of it. Hope this shit gets disabled. Okay, give me a second here. Okay, back to enjoying the weather. 
silence. Yes, thank you very much. Jesus. Now what though? We don't have the red key card. Oh, we can take this, I guess. Gold key card accessible in Tower 3. All right. Can I have a ride back, please? Wait, did they say Tower 3? Tower 2, okay. Well, this is Tower 2, so... Oh shit, 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 shit. Good luck, Shambler was distracted with other enemies. Well, there's that gold key. back now? I think we do. No, wait, the, the button was somewhere else, right? Yeah, this is the button. Tower 4. I'd get that if I were you. Okay. Well, that was a fun ending for the map. Secrets are more difficult to find in Doom, uh, in Quake rather than in Doom, for example. Turns out. 
Maybe I'm just really fucking blind or something. That's what we just played. Cured core by a rabbit. I wonder what's up with that dope fish place. I mean, it has to be. Wait, they took away my. They took away my single shotgun. Even it has to be a place from that hub map, right? This looks fucking cool. Wow. I'm not sure I wanna fuck with that guy. And I don't have any weapons. This is an extremely cool looking place. I want that. Hey, Mike. Are you fucking shitting me? God damn it. The fuck am I supposed to do with it? Uh, can I can I go anywhere? Uh, well, there is the explosive barrels. Can I make it shoot the barrels? Am I supposed to have the gun by now already? I have seen it. You're you're the second person asking me about it. <laughs> I did see it, I did play it. I think it's one of the best fucking things to ever come out for Doom probably. But uh, stuff is way too hidden in my house of Dotwad. Because I missed uh, more than half of all the stuff that was in there when I played it. Okay, how do I... Can I make it, like, unalive itself? Yes. Well, that makes it better. Well, it's spamming the videos because it's, like, really good shit. Now what? I cannot go or can I? Oh, that was a button. Okay. Yeah, knowing a little bit about doom mapping kind of improves the experience a little bit because you'd be able to notice some stuff.
Motherfucker. Well, this is where this count is. I wonder if maybe I was supposed to do something other than make it shoot itself. I need to just die, I guess. Great. Did I not save at any point? Oh, I did save. Okay. Okay, I just need to go in there and, like, get the shit. This isn't going as well as I would have hoped. Yes. What? Okay, I got spooked a little for a second there. Half-life sound. <laughs> I don't know. The Half-Life sound just kind of ruins it for me. I guess Half-Life is built on Quake Engine, right? So it is fitting in some backwards way. But just Half-Life has so recognizable audio. So, I don't know, if you haven't seen much of it, basically... Well, I don't know, I guess it's okay to spoil it. Like, I don't think you lose much by spoiling it. So... There was this, like, guy on Doom World, and uh, he made a thread about how his, like, friend passed away or something like that. Well, I mean, yeah, that, that, that's what it was exactly. And that his uh, friend was working on a doom map of uh, his house. And to like commemorate his friend, he decided he like got the files for that map his uh, deceased friend was working on. And he decided to like clean it up and post it. Th that's, that was the story. And what, what he ended up posting was not just like the, the WOD file, but like a PK3 file. <laughs> which had uh, like all that creepy shit and like weird stuff in it. And then he went like, oh no no, I posted the wrong thing. Don't play this. And uh, then there, there was like a diary also posted. That was like, oh no, like I don't remember making this part of the map, like what the hell is going on? I have trouble sleeping, I have nightmares. So basically it's a... Uh, yeah, 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 something like that. Basically it's like video game creepypasta in, uh, in the shape of uh, a Doom board. And it's really good. Yeah, I'm still kind of not sure. Like, was that friend real? Is any of that uh, is any of it is actually real? Well, I I guess not because uh, 
spoilers like pretty heavy spoilers right now mike so you may want to mute it for a minute or so because like uh, apparently yeah the person who uh, m who supposedly made the map also died like on the same day as that friend who died or something So probably it's not for real that a dead person made a doom map. <laughs> Alright, at least we got shit to shoot people with, so that makes things better. So Mike, I've seen you've been running Mafia, how's that going for you? How do you speedrun a game, 90% of which is like boring driving through the city on a slow car? Oh, yeah, that makes it better, probably. Is that like a separate category or something? Silver key, okay. That's a fancy fucking door. Oh, that sounds like shit. Tezora has been doing some GTA 2 recently, like some meme shit, like no attack playthroughs or something, that was kind of amusing. Oh fuck, I didn't want to kill a war with a single shotgun, thank you very much. Can I get something better? Hmm. 
This is a sussy place. I don't like it. I mean, before it's a shambler. No, but I was totally expecting like a shambler to rise on an elevator. The only game I've been playing recently was Shadows of Doubt, which is like game of the fucking century, I guess. No, I did not get a new video card, I still have that 1070 that uh, Jeffers gave me. Oh shit. It's a procedurally generated detective game. It's like really fucking cool. That was the first game in a very long time that made me actually want to play it. Because like I don't play much of anything besides like, you know, ghost games like fucking Phasma or Demonologist or whatever. Uh, okay, but the real question is how do I get out of here now? I'm not sure. Is that a hole in the wall? Do I need to toss a grenade in there? Do I have grenades? I do have grenades. And that was like... I mean, I got really... I got really lucky that we had those like extended weekend because uh, I'm like on, on Thursday, I download the game, I'm like, okay, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to like play through the tutorial. I'm going to see like how it works, like what it's like. Like f four hours later, like shit, it's time to go to bed. Fuck. And the next day I go to work and, and all I can fucking think of is going back home and playing the fucking game. And all this day at work, all Friday at work, I'm like, fuck, I want to go home and play this game. And when I went home on Friday, I just sat down and I started playing it. And like, I woke up like two days later after playing it for like 30 hours or something. <laughs> well, not nonstop, but, uh, you know. And I never felt it. Uh, I mean, I haven't felt this kind of thing in a very very long time yeah okay wait that's a secret you found a very secret area I found a very secret area by trying to figure out where to go oh I just needed to press a button this is how fucking smart I am well, basically, Mike, there is uh, there's like a city, and uh, like there's like hundreds of people living there, and they all have like their routines. They like go to work. They mm, they go to like bars and shit. And all these people, they have like different traits, like they have like different appearance, like different fucking fingerprints, different, uh, you know, everything. <laughs> and so the, the city just like, you know, lives. The people just do their stuff, but occasionally 
one of them decides to start fucking murdering everyone. And uh, so the way it works, uh, he just literally goes and like kills someone. And it may happen like right in front of you. Or he may be sneaky about it. Like it's just kind of depends on your luck, I guess. And then someone reports the murder and you go and like check it out. And yep, there it is like a fucking dead body. And you need to go and investigate like who did it. And you check for fingerprints, you check uh, like everything about the victim, you talk to the eyewitnesses. It's like pretty fucking amazing. It's just like uh, right now, there are not too many like kinds of murders. Because uh, like for example, there is uh, like a thing where a murderer would leave uh, like an anagram of their name or something at the crime scene. There is no story at all. Like the story is that you need to make enough money to retire. That's the, the story. And you just do jobs and solve murders until you, you can retire basically. And that's it. There is no story. Oop. I guess there's like a little bit of story if you play the tutorial, but that's basically like your wife broke up with you or something. <laughs> and then you got evicted from your apartment. And that's about as much story as you can get. And so as I was saying, yeah, like those uh, murder types they kind of repeat. I mean, it, it's different. They are different, like different people do them and you get like different evidence sometimes. Like sometimes you're gonna get like uh, CCTV footage, sometimes you won't. Sometimes uh, the witnesses will be helpful and sometimes not. Like that sort of thing. But I had this uh, happen like uh, the, that anagram name of the murderer that like happened to a few times already in my game and there's also like the work related murder where they leave uh, uh, a business card or something s saying like oh you didn't want to promote me well fuck you then <laughs> or something like this and there's also some kind of crazy stalker murder that just like it kills people and writes messages with lipstick on the walls and such and like these they these kinds of murders they kind of repeat often at the moment there are also side jobs so basically like um, different kinds of side jobs like you can steal an envelope or you just need to vandalize a certain apartment or arrest a certain person that kinds of stuff and for these jobs you're just given a list of clues like for example oh yeah I hope they will this is an early access and they they're gonna keep patching it and so you're given information like oh like this is the person who works uh, like an an office manager and their name starts with L and they have long black hair like this kind of shit and you need to figure out who this is by doing like investigations and stuff and sometimes it can get pretty ridiculous that would kind of force you to check literally every person <laughs> working in every company sometimes but that's just how it is it is pretty cool it is really fun. It's gonna be even more fun when once they patch some stuff and add more stuff. Oh, I actually got the key, right? So I can open this. Mm. 
Wait, there's a new Amnesia game. I haven't heard anything about it. Press any key. I'm pressing spacebar. The door seems to be computer operated. Oh, there we go. Was there an amnesia game after Machine for Pigs? I don't remember. Okay, so now what are we doing? Wait, the Soma has something to do with amnesia? Is this from the same devs? And what's up with that reverse? What was it was it any good actually? single shotgun to kill all these bastards isn't really the best idea. Love story thriller. Sounds like ass, kinda. Doom is a horror game, right? It has all those scary monsters in it. I think there was some mod for Doom 2 that lets you play as the monsters. And you actually need to stop Doom Guy from winning the level or something. Or something like that. I don't remember. I think I've seen some of it or something. That kind of sounds familiar. The thing that you're describing. A secret area? How is this a secret area? Oh well, I'm not gonna complain. 
3 out of 9. Well, that's better than nothing, I guess. Okay, I kind of want to see what's up with this. Is this also a secret? Yes, indeed it is. And that is also a secret. Two for one. Why is he green? What is this hole? Is this the end of the level? No, there is still like a hundred monsters left. Holy shit. That looks incredibly sus over there. World War II. Can I have like rocket jump there? Well, I guess grenades don't really work this way, do they? I don't think that's intended. Hmm. Well, I guess there is nothing. Well, okay, let's see where this goes. Oh no, it's the sewers. just never a fan of those style of games like Resident Evil you know I never played any of Resident Evil games back in the day and I don't feel anything about the remakes All I've seen from the remakes is that apparently people mod them and like add giant boobs on like companion lady character. So that's nice. <laughs> I also haven't played Silent Hill. But I feel like it might actually be good. Probably, maybe. But it's also kind of like the same style, right? It also works the same way as Resident Evil. It's just like more horror-y.
the only game that is somewhat similar to to those that I played was Blair Witch the, the old Blair Witch Well, I mean, they are similar, like, they have, like, similar controls, right? Similar interface, like, similar inventory management, like, that sort of shit. It's like the inventory system and uh, like the puzzles and shit from what I've seen. They kind of make me... Oh god. Not very interested in trying them out. I guess the remakes are probably better in that regard, but still. Here we have hexagonal stuff again. I don't know, it just uh, doesn't really feel brutalist. When I think of brutalist architecture, I don't think of hexagons, but okay. This is a nice and cozy looking area. I'm probably gonna get really fucked here by some kind of arena fight. Okay. I'm guessing we need to press all the buttons maybe. There's another wire coming from here, so let's check it out. Well, I'm kind of not too happy about having to jump down though. Mm.
that's not great. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Oh, fuck me. Can you please die? Thank you very much. Sheesh. Okay. Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you very much. How do I get up there though? Is this a secret? No. <laughs> the answer is no. It isn't. That's fine. That's fine. Can I jump across there? Maybe not. Maybe if I could bunny hop properly I could. Why are you fucking shitting me? I don't have fucking ammo to deal with this guy. Okay, let's maybe not. we have here it's just a monster closet no there is stuff here can I climb up here no hey loose kind of worried about that chambler I guess it cannot really reach me here you never know. You might get the line of sight at some point. 
can really fuck me up without me even noticing. Okay, you know what? I thought I was going to play one more map after this one. But I guess this is the last one for today. Because I've been streaming for like three hours and that's already longer than I wanted. I guess I have shells over there if I need them. So what, we're just missing one button and it's where the shambler is of course. Did we get everything? Oh, there's one more over there. Can I please jump? Thank you. Oh boy. That's a secret. If I ever saw one. Sedge. Sedge. How the fuck did I do that my first try? <laughs> I'm never gonna get this again. Oh, there we go. Getting back is a problem though. There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to swim. I guess there is no other choice, is there? Fucking fishes. Wait, where is the button? Oh. Okay, now we got everything, I think, yeah. Something horrible is going to happen after we pick it up. Oh, there's only 14 monsters left. How bad can it be? 
fucking before 14 shamblers spawn in my face. This was my first quake map. Are you fucking shitting me? I didn't have time to do a fourth area. <laughs> Even so. Thanks for playing. Man, imagine. This is the first map someone makes. Well, I'm guessing they had some experience in mapping for other games, probably. Because this is... Just, that's not a fucking newbie map. That wasn't a newbie map. That was really good. Anyway, I'm really curious about that dope fish. Because, uh, uh, let, let's just save. Let, let's watch the cameras. This one shows just like the central hub area from above. Yes, this place, it has to be in this map, right? So it, it must be like just hidden away somewhere. I kind of want to find it. Let's see if there is anything else we can see in these cameras. No. Yes, they just repeat. Maybe I can spend like 5 or 10 minutes looking for dope fish. Like it says there are zero secrets in this hub. But clearly that's not quite true because there's a fucking dope fish somewhere. Maybe it's an out of bounds secret. Like the kind of thing that you cannot just find without no clipping. You know why this was in the trash can? Because this monster is trash. That's why it was in the trash. It's a trash fucking monster. It belongs in trash. Worth it. Yes, it was worth it. Well, it, that that kind of counts as a secret, right? That's a bit of a secret. So if it's gonna be one of those where you need to hit the wall. That's going to be a bit annoying. It's probably in one of the buildings or something, because it kind of looked like it's one of the buildings. It's probably not down there, but I don't know. I guess it could be. The elevator.
I could go around whacking pretty much every single window in this map, but I don't think that would accomplish anything. Maybe I'll just no clip and try to search for it this way. If I cannot find it legitimately, which I don't think I can. Okay, let's check here, I suppose. There is that secret difficulty, which we have seen already. I don't think there is anything else here. And it's also hella fucking dark. Maybe if there are any doors or anything like that. I don't see it. Maybe there is something in this playground. Ah, oh, fuck. It's another one of these. Sorry, not sorry. Also, thank you, Mike. Yeah, I don't know where that dope fish is. That's just no clip. like it's down here anywhere oh there it is this is the room and some hidden memory oh you just you just go in there it's right at the start God damn it, okay. Yeah, this is the place. Well, now I feel stupid for not finding it. I guess this must be like. Oh, these are like special thanks room or something. Thanks to FW for help and advice on organizing. Thanks to Marky for playtesting and feedback. Thanks to Lunar Run for making Copper, that's the gameplay mod. Thanks to Chris Holden for making me finish the concrete mod. Hmm. Ah, I guess this must be the texture mod or something. Thanks for Alex with a K for music and audio. That's Hachama, right? Yeah, that has to be Hachama. Of course there's Hachama on a cool quake wad. Thanks to Bal for technical help and advice. Thanks to Pitoing for the sexy loots and graffiti. The, f the fuck are those? I'm not sure. Who is this nerd? I have no idea. Thanks to Stickflip for help on basically everything. Thanks to Henry Ambrose for help with organizing and getting the word out. Uh, that's cool, that's cool. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop now. Yes. I'll probably stream it next weekend. Like, how many maps have we played? I don't even know. Let's see. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. We play ten maps, right? Yeah. So I guess that's content for like a couple more streams. Maybe, probably. Well, anyway, I'm just gonna stop here. So thank you guys for watching. See you next weekend, hopefully. Yeah. See ya.